Welcome back to the Vans Triple Crown. Two riders to go, including Darren Shapiro, the winningest wakeboarder in history. His desire to win has not waned, but recent injuries over the last couple of years have really allowed him to take a different perspective on this entire field of wakeboarding that continues to grow. He admires what he sees. It's more fun now because there's so much color in the sport. There's so many different types of riders. It's just fun to go out there with everybody else and ride at a really high level. Well, I had a great year last year. Everything came through. I had more victories than almost any other year. I'm hoping for the same this year. Just yeah, as long as I can stay healthy, I'm hungry as I've ever been. Nobody wants to win more than Darren Shapiro. Five times you see the tour champion. And he goes just as big as anybody. Started off with that nice big S bed. That was Darren Rides, the first of two passes. The story, Rob Straharik, not riding well this season, has grabbed the lead. He sits just over 78 points. There's that orbital 540. And Darren's the only guy who does that trick. It's an off axis kind of flippy 540. And now a blind landing for Darren. Just ended up with a little grab. Look at how hard he edges. Nobody edges harder than Darren. That's his first trick, a gigantic S-band. A Rayleigh with a complete 360 in the air. Darren landing way out in the flats as usual. And then look at this orbital 540. He grabs it. The board is off axis, and then it comes down smooth. Shapiro, one down, one to go. He'll go workmanlike through the second pass, and then try and nail a huge double up to take out Strahara. Another blind landing for Darren. He's mixing it up really nicely. There's a 540. Nice spin. Look at how compact he is. Look at how solid this guy is. There's a Pete Rose. And then a front side front roll to Reaver. Shapiro intense in both passes. Look at that nice 540. I tell you, as we take a look at how Darren has done through the first two passes, nice grab, great blind landing. He's perfected the blind landings. The big question with the injured ankle, do we see the double front flip right now? I hope we see it. That's what he needs for victory. One, two, boom! Oh, can't hold on. Looked like his rotation was a little bit slow. I mean, you're going around twice in the air. He hit the double up pretty good, and he started a little bit too slow, and he wasn't quite compact enough, and he came down just a little bit short and a little bit hard. Darren, you look like you put it all together. You were going huge, cool tricks, x mob a lot of rotational tricks out there. Yeah, I tacked on a few extra technical tricks from uh, the last round, trying to push the run up a bit and just trying to give the other guys a run for their money. Now, you saw, obviously, Rob just go out there and crush it. So is that why you went for the double front off the double up? Yeah, exactly. If, uh, if Rob didn't pull off his seven and all that, I would have probably gone for a blind five or, or maybe just something a little less intense but still technical. But he stuck it, so it made me go for my double, and I just landed a bit on my heels. So. <laughs>